and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the artist in residence in Everglades. It's a, a fabulous program. It's been in place about 11 years. And, uh, you know, a lot of the things in the park were, are here today that we all can enjoy because of some hard work of some individuals, whether it's Marjorie Stoneman Douglas or Ernest Coe, whoever. And uh, I really credit the artist in residence in Everglades to Donna Markser. She had a vision. She grew up here in Miami, and she always loved this place. And she really wanted to showcase its, uh, how imperiled it is, but then really look at it in a lot of different ways. And I think that's really the strength of the artist in residence program here at Everglades, Airy, because it's really bringing a lot of uh, different people, artists, who have a lot of different views of, uh, of the place, whether it's from the standpoint of uh, uh, painting or photography or poetry or whatever, really telling a different story about this place. Because it's not just about looking at birds and wildlife and uh, in the marsh, but it's also uh, art can really bring a, a whole different uh, kind of an unknown dimension to the Everglades. We change this place, I think just identifying and uh, really telling a completely different story in their own personal way and connecting with a, a lot of people outside the park. And that's really what's, uh, what's really important to save this place. When I think about the artist in residence, I mean, part of it is having those individuals here because I think it's, uh, you know, I always think about the Everglades family. The community and I think that the artists here really add a lot to the park. I think that they are the, they have a, an eye for things that I think that a lot of us that work here every day that we kind of miss and I think that they can capture that. So I think it really adds a, another dimension, a lot of a dimension that we don't often tell very well here that uh, there's, there's art, there's uh, and they also talk about the mystery of the place. You know I got to know a lot of them and just uh, how excited they were to be in this place and uh, how wild it was or it continues to be. The, the sky's the limit in terms of uh, what it can bring to the park. I think one thing that's really important to Everglades is we're trying to do everything we can to connect to the community. From the park's perspective, one of the biggest benefits we have is each of the artists who come to the Everglades sort of becomes an ambassador. People who come here they say it's a life-changing experience. But when you talk to the artists here and see what they've done and their works that, that have been inspired by their visit here, it is a life-changing experience. What are artists doing here anyway? The artists are learning to love a place, being inspired by the place and the wildlife and the people they meet, and they are here to become ambassadors for the Everglades. They go away thinking about the Everglades and sharing it with others. That is why Everglades National Park has embraced the Artists in Residence program.